and he served as the senior prefect during their time. This man is known in private life as Mr. Emmanuel Kofi Edru, but traditionally, he is Nana Kofi Edru. The second, the second. By our tradition, we all know that Nana cannot walk alone. So Nana is here with his beautiful wife, Nana Cynthia Tay, Madam. We have the men. Yes. We also have other equally important personalities here. In no particular order, I will introduce to you the PTA chairperson, Honorable Nick Afari Atta. Afari Atta. <clears throat> the vice chairman for PTA, Rex Amwa Danfo, is also here. We also have Madam Gifty N.A. Amwa, PTA Treasurer. Then we have the Director of Ghana Education Service, the Municipal Director, in the person of Mr. Samuel Ntu Otupa, is here. We have Madam Evelyn Dimbie, Human Resource Personnel at the Education Office. She's also here with us. We have the President of the Old Student, that is Musa, of which you are about to join, Mr. Pius. I hear what. We also have other SMOSA members here. Please, please give us a wave. SMOSA. We have Mr. We see Smosa 79 is <laughs> Dr. Do. That is uh, his name, Dr. Do. Is he the one who has been the one who gives us water? Yes. He has been supplying water, that is such as water, to the management staff almost every week, giving another. We have members of board here. Then we have the academic board members of the school. Please give us a wave, members of the academic board. That is made up of HODs and others. We have the administrative staff. Administrative staff, I can see Madam IV. The school counselor is also here. We have other staff members also sitting behind you to protect you. Then we have the school chaplain here, Reverend Father De Souza. Is here. We 
we have our loving parents also here with us. Our parents, give us a wave. The management of the school is also here. The headmaster, the assistants, and all others, we are also here with you. And uh, for now, I, I want to keep it as such. When, as and when others come, we will introduce them to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. You can do something better, better. Thank you, our honorable assistant headmaster, Nana Opante. We are grateful. Okay, so at this point, we will invite our chairman to give us a response. Good morning to everyone present here. This is an event to be happy about. Did you hear me? I said this is an event to be happy about. But strangely or sadly, there is one person. Each time I go to a gathering of this nature, like soldiers do, I look far, 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 far behind. I can see on the face of one or two of you, the students, I mean, it doesn't, show, it doesn't reflect the atmosphere for this event. If you are one of them, I don't want to mention names. If you are the one, smile and let me see you now. If you don't smile, I will see it. Yes, you know, you know who you are, I mean. When we were singing, why you any more, one kasa, I don't want to be, and them don't want to be, but when you Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Headmaster, Reverend Father Headmaster, my very dear Nana, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure once again to be here as part of this very important program. Two years ago, when Reverend Father Hennis initiated the program, I was head over heels because in my imagination, in my dreams, or in my experience one as a student or as a small son, as a small son. I never witnessed that event, except the 50th anniversary. That was a very mammoth gathering. But to say that graduating students are being acknowledged, are being recognized, like has been already said by two of two earlier speakers, this is the second. And that goes a long way to applaud you, the students, for making it possible, for making it possible for the headmaster and the staff to recognize you with this ceremony. You deserve a round of applause for yourselves. <laughs> it's not going to be a long talk because the guest, of, guest speaker is, is burning with ideas to come and share with you. But I want to say that those are families at the far end. Those are your, your mothers, your parents, your guardians, who have sacrificed a lot to make sure that your education in this revered institution is about coming to an end. To them, I want to join the staff for, pro, for providing the enabling environment to make it possible. And I pray that this is not it's just the beginning. You are just teenagers, most of you. This is just the beginning. They will continue to provide that parental care and guidance going forward so that you will grow to become very matured people. How are, you going to, how are you going to achieve your maturity? First is godliness. Did you hear me? First is the fear of God. If you don't fear God, if you are not godly in all your your thoughts and perceptions, things may not work well. This is a predominantly, this is a Catholic institution. When I joined this school in 1974, I was not a Catholic. 
somehow by the attributes that were necessary as part of the process of studying, I chose to attend morning mass and when the time availed itself, evening mass. And I'm, I can tell you for a fact that those things that I did for myself as a teenager are what sustained me, for example, in so many years as a professional officer of the Ghana Armed Forces. Wherever you are, there are certain attributes that you cannot do without with. That is discipline. You don't need anybody to knock on your door for you to wake up. When you were, when, as a student, you were taught to do so. There were times to rise, time to sleep. They were for a purpose. As you go out from here, you are on your own. Basically, in, 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 you are on your own in quotes. Your parents will be there as well until you attain the ages that will be on your own. Don't forget, discipline is the bedrock. It's fundamental in whatever you do. If you're not disciplined, you can never make it. So you must be loyal to yourself. Before you are loyal to somebody, you must be loyal to yourself. You must be loyal. That is loyalty. Loyalty emanates from you yourself. If you don't like yourself, you cannot, for the ladies, you cannot make yourself pretty. You cannot make yourself uh, beautiful. If you're a gentleman, if you're not careful, you, you'll be near nudity. You know what it is to be nude? nude? Do you know what it is to be nude? Most of the people walking in town, they are virtually nude. They are naked. They are wearing rags. That's what it is to be nude. You dress and come out of your home. Say, why banye? People must ask, why banye? Get what? Get in the hotio? Boy, when the hotio? And things like that. I'm, I'm, I'm ever. My mate, me abu wakambe. You understand? I'm ever. My mate, me abu wakambe. Me, me ni, me, me ni no ga. No ni yogi. Before, no ba no ya here. You have to be disciplined. You have to love yourself. You need to respect yourself. If you don't do that, you'll be, you'll be always found wanting. You must have a personal ambition. By the grace of God, I don't say some of these things to self-glorify myself. Four master's degrees, how did I get that? And in one week's time, by the grace of God, and I know I'll get it, I would have qualified as a, 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 a doctor of philosophy on the 29th of September. I am not saying these things to, I'm saying this thing that you can do much more. You have to ask yourself, when you wake up at 4 a.m., when you wake up, when you go to work and come back, what do you do to your, the rest of your time? Sleep and snore and smoke? That will, that will not lead you anywhere. So have a personal ambition. Five years, 10 years, 15 years, and the sky will be your limit. As I glance through the brochure, that I've seen some beautiful pictures. I've seen some beautiful pictures. That is the handiwork. That is the thought of an innovator, a headmaster, and a staff who are keen on bringing innovation to an institution. Not a, not a personal group of people that, come, that are given a responsibility and they treat it like Maleomi. You know some Maleomi? Oh, Bibi and Fami Hon. Yanko, follow the tide. I'm proud to say that as the board chairman, I have ahead the kind of Reverend Father Ohene. May you please give me a round of applause. <laughs> my, public, my public acknowledgments will not be complete if I don't share the same with the assistant headmasters. Where is, where is uh, Okwamba? Abrampa. Many, or many of them, they have devoted their time and resources. Possibly, they would have had outlets and opportunities to be somewhere else where they, where they can earn millions. They can earn much more. They earn as teachers, teaching and non-teaching staff. But because of you, because of the commitment that they have in making sure that this school 
wears its appropriate cloth. That is why they are here. So on behalf of all of you students, on behalf of my board, on behalf of all of us, I'd like to say a give them a personal salute for the job very well done. A round of applause for them. Our alma mater head of Smosa will talk. So I will not want to take the sail out of his wing. But I know that you are coming on board to join us in whatever place you find yourself in a couple of years to come. Never renege. Think and think deep. That was uh, Smosa, which has made you what you are. And we all hope that by the grace of God, it will, end, it will end well. God bless us all. When you are listening to seasoned men like this, you don't get tired. In fact, we wish we could listen to him all day. But the program must continue. A hand of applause for him. Okay, so after the response, our next item will be an address by our guest speaker, who has been introduced, Nana Kofi Edu II, Musa 1975. You are welcome, sir. I remember the days I used to work with the trade unions. When you stand somewhere to speak, the first thing you do is, Cho boy! Cho boy! It means you don't understand the business. Good morning. My distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the headmaster, the chairman, the teaching staff, working staff of St. Martin's, executives, of the board, the PTA, graduates, brothers, and sisters. Let me thank you sincerely for giving me this wonderful opportunity to speak to these wonderful, beautiful children gathered here who are graduates. Many people have passed through this school. Most of them have achieved heights. Some have become ministers of state, high-profile religious leaders, inspector general of police, army commander, director general of the Ghana Prison Service, and it's my prayer that you also rise to higher positions than that. God be with you. The school's motto, I don't know whether it's been changed, but it's Sapietia Divinitus Melio. Am I right? A good name is what? Better than riches. I left St. Martin's 47 years ago. But I think I still look young, don't I? Good. I never thought I would be here one day to address you. Now, uh, as a news bit, 1975 year group is consulting with all other year groups to get a dining hall complex completed for you. I'll speak to you on five main topics. The first one is try and manage your time very well. When you are born from one year to 20 years, you go through a period of learning like you are here as students under the guidance of your parents, your teachers, and your guidance. That is where you learn. When you reach 21 years to 35 years, that's why where you, you build a career on which you are going to live. If you want to teach 21 to 35, that's where you go to school, do your training, and become a teacher, become a professional teacher. 
from 36 years to 51 years is what we call your peak earning years. Some of us, we made money within this period, 36 to 51 years. And then 51 to 60, you start gathering things and preparing for the future. So I'll urge you to look at this and try and do it. I do teach strategic management. And strategic management tells you that you are doing a management style in which you ask yourself, where am I now? And where do I want to be in 20 years, 30 years, 40 years? How will I get there? I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that. That is strategic management. It begins by asking yourself where you are, and then what, where you want to be in a certain time, and then you take a strategy. I think chairman will agree with me. The military, when they are going to war, they call something a strategy. Ways and means by which they will get there. Now, your daily time, you must know how to manage your daily time very well. If I ask you from 6 a.m. when you wake up to, let's say, 10 p.m. when you sleep, what do you do with your time? And it's like buying credit on your mobile phone. Most of you, when you buy credit on your mobile phone, you use it only to gossip. You use it to play games. You use it to chat. Finished. But a mobile phone can help you develop your business. It can help you do your studies. It can help you manage things. Sometimes you even put alarms on it. At 5 o'clock, the phone will wake you up. I know you don't use phones here. But some of you steal and use their phones. And when you get home, you have more complex phones. So I don't think it's a new topic I'm driving at. So managing your time is just like using a mobile phone. You buy a whole credit, and if you want to use it to play games, ask yourself, what is it going to benefit you? And somebody will leave from morning 6 o'clock to 10 p.m. At the end of the day, try and what effectively have I done from 6 o'clock to 10? What have I done from 10 to 12? What did I do from 12 to 3 to 6? And most of it, you see that you didn't do anything productive. So watch your daily time usage very well. The next thing I like to speak on is you must have goals in your life. When you go to play football with adulting secondary school and other schools, your aim is to score goals and become what? Champions. Isn't it? Good. You must have a goal in your life. And I categorize these goals in four parts. You should have a personal goal. A personal goal means you want to be a responsible father, do you want to look neat or you want to wear a dangerous beard and make your face <laughs> so that when you are coming, then people are dodging? Or you want to be a decent person with a shaved beard. You speak softly and wherever you speak, people like to listen. These are personal things. Do you want to wear clean clothes when you appear anywhere? How do you want people to see you? That is a personal goal. A family goal. Do you want to build a good family? Marry a nice woman? Develop your children into academicians? Take them to university level so that when you are old, they will take care of you and be carrying you like a king. Or you want to be a nobody, going to town everywhere, having friends everywhere, but not settling with anybody. That's a family goal. How do you want your extended family to see you? How do you want your, your, your citizens in your hometown to see you? These are family goals. What about career goals? You should have a career. You are living here today as a general graduate. What career do you want to pursue? Medical, nursing, teaching, piloting, transport expert, private businessman, entrepreneur, anything. Then you ask yourself, what level do you want to reach in that career? If you are a politician, you want to end at MP level, minister's level, 
vice president level, president. You should have a career from now that you are graduating. What do you want to do and how do you want to get there? Then, of course, we should have social goals. So there are four. Personal goal, family goal, career goals, and social goals. In the society, how do you want people to see you? If you want to go into politics, what sort of politician will you be? Politician that will bring development to your country, to your community, a politician who will take people's monies and put it in his pocket and go away and run to America and stay there? Or what? These are social goals that you have to get. Then, after the goals, you should also look at values in life. We have a lot of values in life. And as graduates who are going to go into the out world, I must advise you, you must have values which you cherish. Discipline should be your hallmark. I define discipline as doing something that you normally not like to do, but which is good. You have been trained to wake up by 5.30, by 7 o'clock, you are in the classroom. Why are we training you to do this? So that wherever you go, the rules and regulations you can follow. You must be honest and trustworthy. You should have integrity. Integrity means that you do something that society will praise you. You do something that majority of the people will pat on your shoulder. That is integrity. You must be dependable. If I'm sick now, I have one or two people who I know, no matter what, they will come and greet me. No matter what, they will come and pay my medical bills. So if St. Martin's is having a program, at least we know that the board chairman, no matter what, he will be here. Board chairman, accept my congratulations. And then we should also like to do hard work. And when we do the hard work, we must strive for excellence. Now, while getting my uh, uh, speech to a close, you must also create a network and look for power. Wherever you are, you should create a network and look for power. Anywhere you go, look for people and opportunities that will help you to develop your life and your business. If you are going to, for a school dance, don't just go and dance and be happy. When you get there, look for people who have come to dance with you, who you can partner in business, who can give you advice, who can give you support in your business. If you go to a party, don't just go and enjoy. Make your connections there. Get your links. Fortunately, I have come here. Today, I have come to meet my colleague who used to be an army commander. I have met the headmaster and a couple of people. I will not leave them there now. Why we go and say, oh, commander, so if I have a security problem, what do I do? So oh, call me. I'll give you guidance. It's a plus. Headmaster, so next year, if my child fails to, to get uh, uh, be, uh, good results, what can you do to help me? Oh, you bring him. That is, you are networking. And then you must look for power. Power will guide you to move forward. We have two powers and eight powers. The first two powers that you need are position power and proxy power. Position power is you have worked with the GES and you have been given the position of headmaster St. Martin's Senior High. That is position. The director general can decide that today, headmaster, leave your office and go to I don't think secondary school as headmaster. That's how position power works. Can take it away anytime he thinks fit. The president can call the minister and say, Minister, I'm taking your position from you from becoming energy minister, and I'll put another person there. His position power. Someone can take it from you. But there are other powers that you can achieve for yourself who nobody will take from you. 
Information power is the first thing. You must get information. Ghana is growing. Where are we heading to? What can I do to get uh, to be successful in life? If somebody comes to me for advice, what can I do for him? You must get information. Any information that is relevant to your life, you must strive to get it. Connections power. You must, as I said earlier, you must have a network and link up with good people, people who can guide you and help you in your business. You must have resource power. America is popular because, not because they can talk, but they have money, they have resources. Military resources they have. Financial resources they have. Good people they have. So if you build yourself into a resourceful person, when you enter your village, Nana will come to you and say, Eja, akwaba. But if you don't have money, you don't have resources, will Nana come to you? He will not come. So you need resource power. And then you do favors. And we call it favor power. Favor power. Why you do more favors? I remember when I was in SSB, I saw, I had people whispering that, hey, tomorrow is uh, the MD's birthday. I said, oh, wow. And I had a necktie that my father gave me, a very beautiful necktie. So the next morning, I took the necktie, went to the managing director's office. Call, call, call. Yes, come in. Who do you want? I said, oh, please, I'm Emmanuel Kofiadu. I learned today is your birthday. I have this small tie for you. I said, what? Who are you? I said, I work in the account department. What's your name? Kofiadu. Oh, that's beautiful. I've never seen this before. Do you know what, did, what that did for me? When they say staff should apply for staff loans, first, before I see, approved. They say they want people to go to this place. What I write, bah, approved. It's not bribery, but I've been able to make an impact in his life. So you do a small favor one day, it helps you to go on. You should also have physical and spiritual powers. I don't say go to to play people and collect spiritual power. Build yourself in the spirit that the good Lord has given you. Develop it. And physically, you must also do something to make you physically strong. Then if you are working, you must get expert power. The work you are doing. Become an expert in it. So that when they bring a job to the office, your boss will say, no, call this lady or call this gentleman. He can do it. You are an expert. And then, even when you are retired and you are an expert, you have what we call reference power. When there is a problem, they will quote you. Politicians, when there is a problem now, they quote Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and then sometimes they quote President J.J. Rawlings. It's the same thing they are going to quote St. Martins one day, and they will quote you and me one day. And above all, I'll leave you with this commandment. Obey God and follow his commandments and you will succeed. And that is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 and 14. It's my prayer that one day you also come and stand here, be a guest speaker for St. Martin's. And it's one day it will be a pleasure to hear that one of the students I spoke to is now the chairman of this board, the president of this nation. God bless us all. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you very much, Nana, for your inspiring words. We are so grateful for what we have heard so far. So we'll invite the choir to give us a musical interlude. Choir, are you ready?
I think we can dance more. So let's get up and dance more. Let's shake up. Let's shake up our bodies. Let's shake up. Everybody, everybody.
Bye. Senior Bye. Master. Bye. Bye. Senior House Mistress. Senior Ma'am Anastasia. House Masters and House Mistresses, please get yourselves ready. You'll be part of this group. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, Madam MC. Yes, students, here we are. This is the time for your certificates to be presented to you. Get the alert. You hear your name, you just come and stand or file up in front there, and your certificates will be issued to you. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chairman, St. Martin's runs five programs here. We do general arts. We do business here. We do home economics. We do general science as well. And these are the categories that you are going to present the certificates to. So first of all, we start from the general arts category. And Madam Senior House Mistress, please let me have the certificates here and begin from your end. Okay, good. So, students, get ready as you hear your name. You stand up and come up here. Ado Christiana, where you are. La West Sandra Dema Baden Perpetua Baden Perpetua Mintalinda Miss Andre. Give it to her so that she stands there with it. Yeah. I said they should follow up here, Mr. Entry. And turn to face your students or uh, your mates. Baden Perpetua. Mintalinda. Mintalinda. Kumaho. Batika Eiram Kumaho Bakita Eiram Into Kendra Nanayao Into Kendra Nanayao Enti Sabayana Leniso Botri Jesua Francisca Amegbo, Alex. Alote Amponsa Matilda. I don't know. Send the money. I'm not Papa Fio Emanuela. Yes, yes. We wanted it that way, but they said due to time, we should. Yes, we are here, we are here. That's right. Yabai, yabai. Okay. Yabai, yabai. Okay. So, so, so we were trying to beat time, but we will still beat time. There's a small change, and here. After the first set is done, Nana, our guest speaker, will be here to do the presentation. So we continue. Avete Deborah Makafui, Wilson Leticia, Apia Maxwell, Tieku Amasewa, Ampafo, Oposuhine Emanuela. Ofosuhine Emanuela, Mark Sala Magdalene, 
Ibrahim, Osman, Jawara, Fozia and Ponsa Dankwa, Ampa Mesa Grace, Alassan Hussein Nadia. I check my family twenty. Ahema Ama Bridget. Check my mommy. Abudu Rahman Fridals. Abudu Rahman Fridals. So we have our first 20 candidates. Shall we now invite our guest speaker, Nana? You can do better than this. You can do better than this. Yeah, this is beautiful. Students, continue to give them the applause. Yes, yes, yes. Nana, we thank you. You have done well. Nana, Kakra Kakra takes. Uh, okay, they want to take a photograph with Nana. Yeah, everybody. So, photographer, you get ready and take a photograph. Then we continue. Okay, thank you, thank you. Students, give them the applause, thank you. So we take the second set. Asare, Chumesua, Belinda. Eja Kain, Josephine. Asare, Chumesua, Belinda, Eja Kain, Josephine. Eja Kumua, Margaret. Ohineba A. Veronica. Ohinebima A. Veronica. Efriye Kwatua Leticia. Keteni Joshua. Keteni Joshua. Keteni Joel. Keteni Joel. Upon Stephen Kojo. Upon Stephen Kojo. Mesa Percy. Mensa Percy, Za Samuel, Za Samuel, Bebli Daniel Yao, Bebli Daniel Yao, Mafua Mavis, Mafua Mavis, Atiglo Roda Fafali, Ajima Daniel Agbeto. And Kumahana. Obin Isaac. Kamasa Gifty.
Avida. Sapon Doreen. Oten Bwediwa Vera. Oten Bwediwa Vera. Opoku Dima Jessica. Mohamed Fulera. Haruna Seida. Jima Salome. Dake Bridget. And the test said, I humbly invite our PTA chairperson, Honorable Nick Atta, to do the presentation. You still continue to give him the applause until he gets down. Yeah, it's time for the photograph to be taken. So then get closer and take the photograph. Commander, my friend here. Yeah. Hey, you made a mistake. Uh, we are my friend. Anyway, uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll still continue. The next set should be ready. Abu Bakar, Mastura. Owusu Juliana Adwa Abubaka Mastura Owusu Juliana Adwa Zeliatu Muhammad Zeliatu Muhammad Entry Helena Ohenewa Entry Helena Ohenewa Asan Belinda Asan Belinda, Messi Sudokas, Messi Sudokas, Abdara Samira, Messi Sudokas, Abdullah Samira. William Sara William Sara Kujo Euphemia Kujo Euphemia Tete Samuel Asamoa Bless Amajan Samoa Bless Amajan Ofori Derek Ofori Derek Buama Josh Femensa Buama Josh Femensa and Trimata Esidua. Ado Bright Esther
Nyakun Ebel Akofo. Nyakun Ebel Akofo. Don Peter. Don Peter. Ofori Esther. Ata Eric. Ata Eric. Ni kumi adekwa Augustina. Ni kumi adekwa Augustina. Beta kokoi akaku. Yes. So, shall we at this time invite our board chairman and the chairman for the program, our own Major General Adeti. You can do better than this. You can do better than this. Yes, it's time for the photograph. Students are getting set to take the photograph with our board chairman. Then the next set should also be ready at the same time. We are still in the general arts category. Yes, the photograph is perfectly taken. Yes, now our board chairman gently takes his seat. Yes. So we are on Ado Kadisha Mantibia. No, or your prefect. Ah, uh, Kadisha Mantibia, you wait for a while. Noble too, wait for a while. I will judge this one, Junior. It's a category that the SRC president would like to. Oh, okay. Okay, so Kadisha, you can now come. Noble, show up. I will judge this one, Junior. Lamidi Mustafa. Lamidi Mustafa. Amponsa Benis. Amponsa Benis. Deborah Godfrey Julius. Yevu Ophelia na Tano Poku Jessica Pokua Tano Poku Jessica Pokua Ose Odame Penuela 
Ose oda mi Penuela, Gasenu Regina, Mensa Catherine. Gasenu Regina, Mensa Catherine. Lamte Natasha. Kogbe Pat Nila. Lamte Natasha. Kogbe Pat Nila. Katame. Kabonu Rose Mole Mapo. Adolinda Koko. Abrefi Enyonam Midred. Adolinda Koko. Abrefi Enyonam Midred. Oredua Matilda. Daku Mavis. Lamb on Cynthia. This set is blessed to have the better half of Nana, Nana Hema Kofiedo, to do the presentation. Hey, give the applause. Yes. Oh, here you are, Nanahima. It's time for photograph. So Nana Hima is taking the picture with a set. Photograph is perfectly taken. Nana Hima walks gorgeously to take her seat. Yes, and continue to give her the applause. She walks gorgeously to take her seat. And gorgeously to take her seat. Yes. So we are on the last part of the arts category. Kwegbeji Makafui. Aibonte Rebecca. Edu Theophilos. Edu Kumi Juliana. Ampoma Safua. Akese Valeri. Akese Valeri. Agbode Megba May Queen. Agbode Megba May Queen. Agbe me yawa Victoria ana Victoria no Every obin nana Abudu Samet Aminatu Eduko Imba Prosper Tete John na Aloti Ishmael ni noi Frimpama Yurika Tiwa Agbemeji Happy Bonya Esther Nyama 
Adum every year, Esther. Adum every year, Esther. Takina, I am a beauty. Aduma Kezia. Opare Josephine, Frantima, Mensa Janet, and finally, Mono Kobina Obey Michael. Thank you. I humbly invite my most senior 1979 year group, the CEO of Canadian Water, Dr. Doe, to do the presentation. Let's give him the applause. Yes, give him the applause. Give him your and you join a book. Hey, come here, yeah, Frabre. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Right. So we are now on the home economies category. So home accounts, you get ready. And the first person is Jamenu Prisla Yaira. China Joseph. Kamaracho Janet. Gada Maukwenya. Dimbi Elsie Nyokta. Dimbi Elsie Nyokta. Anna Chuprisla. I hear Bobanessa Emanuela Maulom. Felix Ampedu. Amewawo Edinam Juliet. Ansa Fidelia. Anan Prosperos. Esiedu Amofa Emanuela. Ayetole Henry. E Japan, Achia Samuela. Dogbe Godfrey. Mensa Nana Chumwa Kwate. Oku Juliet, Nyoko, Saliga Emanuela, Yabu Anora, Abuaji Barbara,
I am now inviting Smosa Chairman or President, Mr. Pius Ahinyawo, to do the presentation. So, you join the Smosa president and take a photograph with him. Mr. Pius Anyawo. The photographers are doing, they are pulling and pushing. Yes. All right. Photograph well taken. Let us give them the applause once again. And we are on the last set of the home economics category. We start from Amon Angela Drua Ansan Genevieve Asante Amon Alice Bukari Mary Ejari Clotty Mavis Doku Eva Kunya Tru and Estina Esinam Kwakwabia Rebecca Nyaku Benedicta Yebua Prisla Kosia Kra Yebua Prisla Akosia Kran Eduma Jelidia Dakon Abigail Safwa Aklande Enesina Mausi Noi Gifti Ufori Eric Amenyo Victoria Afedi Prince Amenyo Victoria Afedi Prince Sam Emmanuel Akunedu We shall now invite our PTA Deputy Chair, Mr. Westford Amu Adamfo, to do the presentation.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we enter into the business category. And the first person is Lai Abraham Ni Late Ai. Odro Richmond. O to Stella. Afram Sewa Safua Patricia. Mate Elizabeth Asari Atta Justice Norte Grace Asari Atta Justice Norte Grace Kobia Margaret Safo Elsie Equia Safua Opoku, you care. Opoku, you care. Musa, Iman Abbas. Musa, Iman Abbas. Kumoji, Stefan Isena. Kumoji, Stefan Isena. Kumagwa, Fred Joel. Jikunu, Peter. Boafu, Gideon. Asimen Mafua Pamela Ahe Matthias Jetru Wonderful Akunedu Derek Amua Gilbert We invite the PTA Treasurer Madam Giftina Ashele Ama to do the presentation for us. Meet her with applause. All of you. I have we been in the pet Joshua. Eh, na ka. Okay. Na Joshua So that's it, HR now. Mama Dam Derry, Madam Derry. So we are now in the general science category. Offer Nyako Florence. Ofe Nyako Florence. Dako Presla. Essie Du Herbert. Nyako Angela Abuadua. Amwako Bernard Opare. Amaki Agbema Play. 
Joseph. Otre, Canila. Messi Pius Emmanuel Kweku. Azato Maxwell. Budakwi Kwame Senyo. Hammond Manasse Tete. Kumasi Paul. Aziaga Courage. Yebua Clinton Kofi. Pio Ali Yao. Owusu Eric Dia. Osai Clementina, Osai Bia, Ochi Christian Ankuma, Ochi Christian Ankuma, Nelson Mata, Daku Opoku Clement, Esrifi Daniela Brago, Asareminta Wendy. We now invite an old boy who also completed in 1978, formerly the secretary to the Green Book, and now the CEO of F Crisis, Mr. Joshua Ewuku Appel. Give him the applause. So, organize yourselves now to take the photograph with the former secretary of the Green Earth Organization and now the CEO of Earth Crisis, Mr. Joshua Ewuku Appel. Right. And also, he doubles as the DGK of Insam Adwajiri Marshallland Group. Yes. Give him the applause. We are now on the last badge of the general science category and the last badge of presentation of certificate. There's another one there. There are special ones. That one to be done by the SRC patron. So, I hear say, young sin. Uh, I hear say, young sin. Uh, I go, Samuel, I hear for. Obiye Divine Essay. In Sun Rose Equia. Lawson, Christabel, Naldu, Kofi, Josephine, Dr. Fu, Michelle, Fafa,
Jechi Andrews Amankwa. Owusu Michael. Ebenezer Tete Mensa. Kelly Jetru Eiram Koku. Boate Maxwell. Boadu Maxwellas Enim Kofi. Ativo David Tete. Apia Alfred K. Afrifa. Enyan Princess Dankwa. Agbai Edwin. Osei Efriye Eloys. Dunko Michael. Ano Nicholas Ameni. Ano Nicholas Ameni. And the last person, downfall, Enoch Adon Mensa. Downfall, Enoch Adon Mensa. Downfall, Enoch, I don't mention. I humbly invite the human resource personnel, HR of Insawam Adwajri, Municipal Education Office, Madam Evelyn Dimbe, to do the presentation. Okay, okay. okay. Now you organize yourselves to take the photograph with the HR Municipal Office in Samama Dwejiri, Ghana Education Service. Still organizing themselves to take the photograph. Yes. The pull and push and positions retake. Thank you. Photograph. Students. Ah, look as if you are tired. Yes. Thank you, madam. Uh, Mr. Chairman, presentation of certificates still continues. And what is coming is special. And I invite the SRC patron, Mr. Enes Adenku, to do the first one. Mr. Enes Adenku, where are you? Come and take over. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, I'm here to present the certificates of 
meritorial service to the prefects. The prefects have served well. They've served for a term of one year. And I'll mention their names and batches and call upon some of the HODs to do us the honor of presenting the certificates to them. So when I call your name, you come for it. Head Prefect, Apia Alfred K. Efrifa. Let's clap for him. Girls Prefect, HOD Science, Mr. Tay Kwesi. Girls Prefect, Ado Kadisha Mantibia. Boys Prefect, Noble John. Kwenu Otubia AC, AJ House Prefect. Opoku Yukel, the Day Compound Prefect. Lamte Natasha, Health Prefect. The Chapel Prefect, Dr. Fu Michelle Fafa. Protocol Prefect, Opoku Jessica Jima. Go to Stella, Prep Prefect. Assistant Don Prayer House Prefect, Jamenu Presla Yayura. Assistant Edu Koko, House Prefect, Obin Isaac. Prefect. Okay, let's continue. Girls Prefect, Dimbi El Senior. Doctor Assistant Day Boys Prefect Amo Henry Assistant Day House Prefect Awuja Desmo AJ House Prefect Tete Na John Assistant Edu Koko House Prefect Safua Ya Ampuma Damien House Prefect, Nyako Benedicta. Saf Safwa Patricia, Assistant Damien House Prefect. Nyako Angela, Assistant Chapel Prefect, Girls. Dining. Dear Emmanuel, Prefect, Compound Prefect Gayovu Humphrey Adam. Assistant Compound Prefect. Anachu Prisla. Girls Compound Prefect, N.T. Sabayan and Lenin So. Library Prefect, Taki Beauty. Library Prefect, Ofori Derek. 
Dombre House Prefect, Asante Amwa Alex. Assistant AJ House Prefect. Asimin Mafua Pamela, Financial Secretary. Then Maxala Magdalen, Assistant Secretary. We already have John Noble here as a secretary. We have Adu Kadisha Mantibia as a vice president, and Apia Efrifa K. Alfred as the SRC president. So let's get together and take a group photograph with the board chairman and the guest speaker. Let's come together. <laughs> 